Hello, here is Domina Dominic and my gringo obeys. <laughs> that was so not me. I'm joking people, I'm just playing with cliches. Okay, hello curious. <laughs> my name is Dominic and uh, you're most welcome to my channel. Listen. I had to do that intro because <laughs> my name is Dominique and um, yeah, I'm married to a white man and supposedly white men are submissive, yeah? He obeys. <laughs> Anyways, so there is this narrative about white men or relationship between white men and black women that says we B, um, B W W M are most likely to succeed because um, white men are submissive. They listen when they talk to when we talk to them, and um, the opposite is not um, possible. Like white women and black men, it's going to die <laughs> because white women do not listen. And because white women have already prepared white men for black women, so they are just listening. It is their programmation. Have you noticed that the black man wants a submissive woman or wife, and a black woman wants a submissive husband? White right. question. Just I'm just asking. Please don't come after me. Why is it that black people want submissive partners and wives and husbands? Just asking, just asking. Hmm? First thing. Next thing <laughs> is how come somebody can be talking about submission in a relationship? Why is it that a human would want another one to be submissive? I don't even care if it is a relationship like love relationship, work relationship, like are we still there? like we humans that we want other humans to be submissive like the whole world the world of submission is just i can't wrap my head around it like there is a whole cameroonian facebook group called le wa du terre or le wa man du terre le wa le terre where the ideal what people are looking for like defining womanhood and defining being um a good wife is the like the first word is submission a good wife is submission a good woman is submission the good african woman is submission she is she is submitted with like submit 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 please a good woman is a happy woman a good wife is a happy wife a good husband is a happy husband can i get a yeah 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 for that like why do we need submissive humans? For me, that only shows your insecurity. And a submitted person is somebody who says yes and amen to everything. Do you want that person as your partner in life? Do you want somebody always saying yes to you? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, massa, or yes, domina, madam. <laughs> I like. Who wants? <sighs> Sorry, people. If it, I, 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 I'm, I'm not getting it. How another human would want somebody he's willing to go the next fifty years <laughs> to be sub. What? What are you talking about? So why do you want to submit another human? Let, let's come back to the gringos. Or sorry for using that word. I'm just using the cliche. Let's come back to the supposed reason why marriage relationship between a black woman and a white man is more likely to succeed. Supposedly, it, it relies on the <laughs> white man being submissive. You know this um, saying, it goes, happy wife, happy life. So because that man wants his wife to be happy, he is not submissive. Let's take Harry Windsor's, right? Following Megan to Los Angeles 
because she wants a normal life she like she's not willing to be insulted and treated like, like trash and then still up uh, still sacrificing her private life so that man is husband goal he's not submissive okay so stop destroying marriages with submission of i don't i don't care whether it's spouse or no we are no more in that in that era like it was in the 16th century or something correct me if i'm wrong where we had slavery and we still have slavery in modern time in modern in this modern time but it's like work slavery and okay we still have things to do okay but i i do not want my partner to be submissive i don't i do not want that word that vocabulary in my marriage in my couple if anybody comes to you and is talking submission run away run away those are toxic people like don't get that advice you are going to destroy your happiness if not your happiness the happiness of the other person if your happiness relies in the submission of another human being then you have to question yourself which kind of a human are you that you need some other human to be submissive to you in order to build your own happiness how insecure are you how backward are you how okay i'm going to count down okay we are trying to be serious on this channel listen if a man and a man wants you to be submissive as a wife then that is an enemy of progress because with a submissive woman you are not going anywhere there's nobody to tell you you are right there's nobody to support you there's nobody to say mm, i'm not ha like you don't have another opinion and why are you getting married if you don't have that person giving you contract that person giving you let me drink something like a discussion or argument or fight is never possible in a submissive relationship and we grow through challenges a healthy relationship they talk together they give their opinion and they are listened to and they listen also so how am i going to listen to my slave how is my slave now like, let me start this way how is my slave going to voice his or her opinion the whole submission thing has nothing to do with marriage again if somebody comes to you and start talking submission run away that person is toxic that person is an enemy of progress no healthy modern man will want a submissive woman being christian muslim whatever thing you you, you may rely on or cultural it is a lie which culture are you talking about african culture warning uh, uh, women to be submissive you are a liar go and ask your grand grand grandparent or whatever if you are blessed enough to observe black women have always be free independent and like forget about it even in my culture anyways let me just tell you people culturally there is no african culture i can talk like that which requires a woman to be submissive everybody has his own and has whole and gets um credit for that respect acknowledgement whatever but that is not submission it is just a role but not submission it's mutual so don't just rely on somebody's obligations in the sense culturally obligations or duties and forget about yours it's yin on yang or whatever life and death and it's always it's, it's always a balance in everything okay that was culturally 
black african always say yeah in europe in in occident in the western world woman has the right she's the one she's the domina <laughs> because she has the social system she has the right on her the, the laws on her side eh? so requiring a man to pay a uh, 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 child support for a child he did like nobody forced him to give his anyway so the social system being there to support a woman who wants to quit uh, to quit a relationship where she's no more happy the law is on her side the police coming to separate a fight where you are beating on her and then telling you giving you personal non grata in your own house like stay away i don't want you to approach your wife like 50 meter or whatever she has the law on her side you should be allowed to have children you don't want to support them financially you should be allowed when you you put your wife outside because she's asking you one or two things or wanting you to do your own part in the relationship in the household in whatever thing she's uh, 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 She's complaining about, and you come out and be knocking on her. So she should not be supported. Or when you say, go out of my house, go out like she's on the street. We have a lot of women investing life, energy, love, sweat in relationship, in submissive relationship, doing everything you people want, and still yet they are not happy. And you, neither. So submission is not the topic. We want to be happy. And if she is submissive and still happy, good for the two of you people. That I can't really get why people say white men are submissive. Like, my, my experience is, <laughs> is different. White man acknowledge your freedom and he wants his freedom as well. So he gives you space to blossom, right? And it's mutual, like, uh, live and let live, okay? Because he is leaving her, he's allowing her to live, doesn't mean it, 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 it's reducing his life potential or his happiness potential. Like, we can be happy next to each other. My happiness does not really, really depend on me making somebody submissive my experience is this one white men always in quotation mark because that is, that is a big box but i have to use words um they pick their fights like it's not disturbing me or it's making her happy or whatever and you let it go just let it go let it go but there are some essential crucial fights they will say no and after no, there is not a yes, it's a no. Actually, it's just freedom. You are free till the boundary of the other person's freedom. I think I've said it all. So, yes, to you people looking for submissive, white or blacks or whatever, please, black folks. It's not because we were um, slaves in the past that um, we still we have to slave <laughs> in slaves or uh, starting with our women or our partners or our husbands like heal heal from the slavery heal from submission <laughs> heal from the past that's the way to 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 freedom that's the way to happiness that's the way to blossoming okay thanks for watching if you could relate with one or two things i said let me know in the comment section um subscribe to find me next time you are looking for me and yeah bye stay curious and free